Okay, this time. All right, a couple of things about the pull-up and getting scapular activation, which is the number one thing that I see as the weak link when it comes to people trying to do the exercise and failing at it. Scapular activation means having the control to set your shoulder blades down, set them back, being able to use the muscles that surround the scapula or the muscles that are on top of the scapula to actually do their job and set the back up properly for your proper pull. It's going to make your pull up a lot stronger when you have your back muscles involved and you're not just using your arms the whole time. So, easiest way to do it is, even if you can't perform a full pull up, you can do a partial range pull up, making sure that your back is doing the job that it's supposed to do even for a few inches of range of motion. So, it looks something like this. They grab the pull up bar, the regular width, width grip, just outside shoulder width is good for me. Go into a dead hang, you make sure that you can set your shoulders. You notice my body's making its way up towards the pull up bar without my elbows bending. After that, you can add a couple inches of motion by bending the elbows once you've got that shoulder set first. So, it's going to look like this. Shoulder set, little raise. Unlock. You can do sets of anywhere from 6 reps all the way up to sets of 20 reps. You can burn out on that exercise if you don't have any more strength to go through the full range of motion. You can burn out at the end of a set of full pull-ups by doing that just at the end of the set for as many reps as possible. You can make them into, your own, into its own exercise. It's completely up to you. But it's a great way you can even start off your workout by activating your shoulder blades, getting some blood back there and those muscle blade, uh, muscles back there. So it's a great exercise to pepper in or to make the bulk of your workout just for the back to do what it's supposed to do. And that's it.